Welcome to Discover Talent Presents, folks. Let's learn today five Excel formulas, okay, which you can see it on the screen. So first, we'll start with a filter, and here, what I'm gonna do, I will just add a filter function over here. Let's say is equal to, and type filter function, okay. Once it is done, what I have to do, I have to select a A2, okay, F13, okay. Again, I will select this A2 until. A13 which is the criteria basically okay once the criteria is added what I have to do I have to add a is equal to sign and let's assume I'm adding a apple over here okay and uh, I will call this as a not found okay if it is not really found we'll add this as a commentary bracket close and then hit a enter button over here you can see base is the apple okay you get a result over here Let's move ahead and uh, talk about sorting. It will duplicate the data and it will sort it as per your own requirement. Okay. So here I'm going to add a sort and let's say A2 until F13. Okay. Which is this. Cool. And then let's say 2. Index is 2. And then here I will say minus 1. Bracket close. Hit enter. You can see the arrangement over here. Tip number three, unique. Turns your column into a distinct value. Simply type a unique over here. And this is my array. Basically, A2 until this. Simply bracket close and then hit a enter button. Okay. Majority times when you attend interviews, that time this kind of you know, questions may ask. Text join here. And then I will add as a this as a delimiter so I will get a comma you can also add a pipe okay if in case really needed whichever delimiter you wish to right so here I will select this as a delimiter and then comma let's say true and let's select a range okay so range is this bracket close you can check the formula and then hit a enter button over here you can see the comma driven data you got at one simple click we have heard about VLOOKUP HLOOKUP lookup function okay this function is called x lookup the here i will say this as a apple since i am keeping this as a static if in case you want to keep it as a dynamic just add as a range very simple and then uh, let's select this a2 until a13 which is this comma now here you have to select a price because you want a price right so you want to keep this as a selection found category over here okay I'll hit a enter button and you can see the result over here. Hope these five Excel tips help you a lot. Comment your favorite one and don't forget to subscribe us. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead.